Hey guys, Brian Jensen here with Sear Interactive. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly embed a Google Plus post into a WordPress poster page. So for those that may not be aware, in September of 2013, Google Plus introduced embedded posts, which allow users to embed public Google Plus posts onto web pages. Embedded posts are cool because they offer Google Plus users and brands uh, the opportunity to repurpose and share content onto one of your own marketing channels, uh, which in this case is your website or blog. So if you've published a post where there's active or meaningful discussion, we can take that post and embed it into an article to either bring the conversation to our blog, or maybe we just want to provide some additional context to a topic that we're writing about. So I recently attended Search Love in San Diego and did a live recap um, of all of the presentations on Google+. So I'd also like this content to live on my blog so I can add additional pictures from the event and provide my readers with some more granular detail about my experience. So while there are two ways to do this on WordPress, I'm going to show you my preferred option. So to embed a post on a WordPress poster page, simply uh, navigate um, in, on your post to the upper right-hand corner, click the drop-down, and select Link to Post. Copy the link, and now drop the link where you'd like the embedded post to appear in its own line. And for me, this will be right here. I'm going to go ahead and click View Post. And scroll down and we can see here that we now have a Lisa Gerber's post um, the SEO of storytelling recap is now embedded on my WordPress blog uh, so I want to publish and the process couldn't be easier so the posts are interactive in the fact that a signed in Google Plus user will now be able to plus one uh, and leave a comment on the post or follow the author. So I'll leave links to both Google and WordPress's resource on embedded posts in the description below the video. Uh, guys, feel free to share if you found this useful and please leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks.